Hi, I'm Chris Mall with Kingsway Homes. Today we're going to talk about roof trusses. We've got some beautiful brand new roof trusses from Rich Co. Structures laying on the ground here, ready to be installed. Since the 70s and 80s, roof trusses have gained a lot of popularity and uh, some of the main reasons for that is because they're very strong and light and easy to install and they're very cost effective. Uh, they can also span really far distances. You can see the clear span of this truss all the way from down there to this end. They can span that far without having any intermediate uh, uh, load-bearing walls or anything in the middle, which is really nice and enables us to, to do a lot of dynamite designs that you could not do with conventionally framed roof systems. They also, you can see how they build them. They put these, these gusset plates on and they do this in a factory, in a manufacturing set them where they, they stamp, them, stamp them together and make them super, super tight and super strong. They typically use a triangular shape for all the webbing and all the structure. And if you remember back uh, from, your, from your math and your geometry classes, a triangle is one of the most geometrically strong and solid shapes. And that's why you see all the triangle shapes in the, in the, in the roof trusses. Now we're going to take a look at how they install the roof trusses. So let, let's take a look and watch them setting a couple of trusses right over here. And now you can see how we do the installation of the trusses. They're hoisting this truss up with a the crane. They're going to set it right on the top plate of the walls. Something to point out on this truss is kind of the unique, unique shape of this truss. You can see how the top of the truss has a flat section and what that is, is um, uh, that's the flat section for what we call a hip roof, where the roof plane changes a little bit. And this particular truss is also what we call a girder truss. And girder trusses are a little bit stronger and stiffer than a standard truss and they allow trusses to be fastened or attached to it at a right angle. So you'll see in a few minutes we're going to we're going to attach what we call some, some hip or some jack trusses along the side of this girder truss. Now you can see how they're setting it in place on the top plates. And they're they're uh, fastening a spacer block on each side. The spacer block is used, used to ensure that we get the trusses set at exactly 24 inches on center. Allows the roof sheathing to be installed in a nice, neat, clean fashion. Once they get the trusses all safe and secure they're going to run what we call some lateral bracing and they install some truss clips on the top plates and uh, we're going to walk into another section of the house and we're going to we're going to show you a couple other things and we're going to show you how they do how they install these plates now we're in the garage of this house and you can see how they've installed the lateral bracing across the bottom cord of the trusses and that lateral bracing really stiffens up all the trusses and sort of makes them act as one unit so they're nice and stiff and they don't move around the other thing that we do with the trusses is we install a truss clip at the bottom of each truss where it sits on top of the wall. And you can see the truss clip right here and you can see how it's nailed into the truss and nailed into the top plate and that fastens it down nice and tight to the top of the wall uh, and ensures that the, the wall and the truss sort of become one system if you will. Now we're going to take a walk back to the other side of the house we're going to show you how we install the, the hip and the jack trusses. And now you can see how they're lifting into place uh, what we call either a hip or a jack truss. And you can see how it, it sets right on top of that, that nice beam that goes across. And you can see how they fasten it right to the girder truss on the other end. And there'll be a whole series of these that go all the way up and across and down the other side. While these guys are finishing up setting the roof trusses, I thought this would be a great time to show you some other unique things that we do. At this stage of construction, you can really see some of these features. Right over here you can see that uh, on a tall wall that has a lot of glass and a lot of windows in it, as this, this beautiful setting does right here, you can see how we use what are called microlam studs. These studs are structurally engineered to be stronger and stiffer than a 2x6 stud. You can see how they're really super strong, no movement on this wall whatsoever. You get a windy day with all this glass on here, you will get absolutely no movement. Do we need to put these in? No, we don't. You could do this with two by six studs. It would save money and it would be cheaper, but at Kingsway, we don't believe in that. We believe in building quality, quality home that's nice and stiff and strong. Over here, you can see on the window open, a standard size window opening, we always use two king studs on each side of the window. Do we need to use two king studs? Absolutely not. We could get away with one. Two studs is stronger, better, more quality finish. On a bigger, wider opening, such as we have here for the fireplace, which you might also see at a patio door or something like that, we not only use two king studs, but we also use two shoulder studs. Again, do we need to? No. Stiffer, stronger installation. Another area that I'd like to point out to you 
is the floor systems. For years, customers have walked into Kingsway Homes and said, wow, these floors feel really stiff and really strong and, and very impressive. And you can see the floor joists that we use are, a, they are a deeper floor joists with a wider flange. Uh, and they're all designed by a structural engineer to ensure that we have a, just a super stiff and rigid floor so when you walk across them, you get no movement whatsoever. You can also see a great example right here of this glue lamb beam that we have, which supports the floor joists. And again, that beam has been designed by a structural engineer, bigger, stiffer, stronger than it might need to be. But we feel that's super important at Kingsway. All of these are more reasons why Kingsway builds better homes.